very much, Jane. A magnificent setting for the end of season showpiece as Celtic and Rangers, as Jane says, meet for the very first time in the Scottish Cup final. Celtic looking to retain the trophy they first lifted last season, while Rangers are looking to get their hands on it for the very first time. And Jacinta will have another opportunity here to try and test the Rangers back line, really crowded six yard box. Let's see what the delivery is like this time. Keeper hasn't got there, big chance here for Celtic and Craig couldn't force a home. A real bedlam in the Rangers six yard box and that's clearly what Celtic are trying to create. Yeah, it was a real physical battle. This time the, the delivery's a lot deeper, looking, searching for the back area. Tash Flint keeps it alive and as you mentioned, Chloe Craig just couldn't divert it. Caitlin Hayes with plenty of time to think about her next pass but she can't find a teammate eventually it finds its way out to Meng Lu though who was the initial target and that's a dangerous looking ball in as Davison goes back and almost turns it into her own net Tori Essen was scrambling yeah Davison does really well I think she's injured herself with that challenge and that block certainly but it was good play from Celtic initially the ball doesn't quite make it Rachel McLaughlin defends with a header into the middle of the pitch but because of the numbers that Celtic have got in and around it they immediately win it back they find the ball in that left hand side Davidson's been robbed by Shen Shen in with the chance for Celtic can she get the first goal drags the shot wide the first real opening of the final and Shen to Fran Alonso's disbelief. I think it was to Shen's disbelief as well. I don't think she can believe her luck that she manages to dispossess Hannah Davis. She's then looking for someone to pass to. I don't think she was really filled with confidence. I would need to say she does so, so well, forces a mistake, dispossesses Davidson. You see her just glance here. She's looking to try and square the ball so that another player has get a tap into an empty net. An involvement straight away. Good play from Celtic. And it's just Sinta. Good first touch. Into the area she goes, but like Shane before her, drags the ball away beyond the far post. And you'd expect better from a player of her calibre. Yeah, you would. Brilliant build up play from Celtic. A real strong opportunity for them. I think she's caught in two minds, whether that's a shot come cross or not. It's neither in the end. Doesn't work the goalkeeper and doesn't find Lefersky at the back post. Here comes Celtic again. This is dangerous looking. It's Lefersky into the area. She gets pulled back there. That's a good covering challenge. And again, it's Davison showing her pace to come across and cover because Lefersky was away. Yeah, Rangers do well at the second bite, but it's brilliant play from Celtic. It's the asset, it's the threat that Lefersky carries. Just that touch initially was too heavy. And Hill was certainly beaten for pace. Here's Jacinta curling another one in. Again, Essen gets something out of it. Not enough, but it's in! And Celtic have the deserved breakthrough, and it's Tash Flint, who else? Who hammers it home? Fran Alonso celebrates along with the Celtic faithful. It's Celtic one Rangers now. Well, if there was ever going to be a player that was going to make the difference today out, it was Tash Flint. We've spoken so much about her, but we've spoken about the fact that she's had such little impact in the game, the position that she's playing. But we've spoken about these set-piece threats, we've spoken about the corners, the deliveries. And when you persistently ask questions, Essen does well again. She gets a hand to it in the first offering. She takes the pressure off, but Rangers just don't deal with it in that second phase. And Tash Flint's a player that's switched on. She's in there. She's a, She causes problems. The first touch is brilliant. The second touch is in the back of the net. And you've got to say that the goal really has been coming. There's no doubt Celtic have had the lion's share of this second half. And it's now over to Rangers to try and strike back. But what a hugely important goal from Tash Flint. She really has been a wonderful signing for Celtic since she arrived in January. She's proven her worth again. It's her third goal in the Scottish Cup to add to 
an injury time strike in the 5 1 win over Hearts and the winner against Glasgow City. And now it's all kicking off as tempers free somewhat. Cathy Hill heavily involved. Yeah, she's picked up a yellow card now. She just needs to walk away. Cathy Hill, she's the Rangers captain. She doesn't need to be getting involved in anything. Perhaps she's looking to try and provoke a reaction from her teammates. Perhaps get the fans going in that far side. And Celtic who look to add to their advantage here from another corner kick. Jacinta once more sends in, glanced on and in! And Celtic double their advantage! And it's O'Riordan this time who has put them within touching distance of retaining the trophy. Delight among those young fans as Celtic on this pace of a couple of minutes got two goals to the good. Celtic are so strong. This time Essen, she gets herself caught up. She actually bundles into her own player. And there's that collision, takes her out of the game. She's unable to affect it. But what a good glancing header it is from Clara Riordan. The only thing she's looking to try and do there is make sure that the ball goes towards goal. And it goes one better. It nestles in the back of the net. There's nothing that Tess Medag could do about it. Fran Alonso goes crazy in the touchline as he always does. And they really have taken full control of this game now. Yeah, goal certainly would change things at this, this stage. This could be a chance for Benny. She's got it back. And Rangers from out of nowhere have pulled themselves back into this Scottish Cup final. And maybe, just maybe, they can find a way to force extra time. It's 2 1. Brilliant goal from the youngster. Certainly going to be marginal in terms of offside, I would need to say. It's not going to count. It's offside and a huge cheer from the Celtic end because Rangers thought they had a way back into the game. In the final seconds of added on time, Noel will go for goal, big deflection into the arms of Takenar and that will be just about that. There it is, confirmation that Celtic hold on to the Scottish Cup, Fran Alonso, their Spanish manager, celebrates with Tash Flint, who opened the scoring. And the celebrations can begin again. It's been quite the weekend for Celtic. And the women's team add to the glory. Claire O'Riordan got the second goal to really make absolutely sure of a victory, which... I think most observers would agree he was a deserved one over the piece. There was no way back into the game for Rangers, and so it's these Celtic fans who've come along to Hamden who will celebrate this evening. Uh, Fran Alonso and his players exchange hugs as. And it will be Kelly Clark who steps up here to receive that beautiful new trophy from the SFA president, Rod Petrie, and she will lift it aloft momentarily as Celtic celebrations continue. Celtic are Scottish Cup winners in 2023. Joyous scenes in green and white. And Hampton resonates to the sound of Celtic celebrations once more. A fabulous afternoon for Fran Alonso and his side. And they will party, you can be sure, long into the evening. What a moment for these players to be able to enjoy not only Scottish Cup glory, but at the National Stadium for the first time, the rightful place for the Scottish Cup.